Russian River watershed provides habitat for many fish. 16 native freshwater and anadromous species, and 21 non-native species. Two native populations, the Russian River Tule perch and Russian River roach, are found only in this watershed. Along with the Pacific lamprey, hardhead, and riffle sculpin, these species are considered California species of special concern because their populations are declining throughout their range. Anadromous fish such as salmon and steelhead hatch in freshwater and live in the ocean as adults where they can grow to a large size. They migrate upriver to spawn, which includes burying their eggs in stream gravel. Depending on the species, juveniles stay in the river to rear for a few months up to a couple of years before making their way to the ocean. To prepare for the change from fresh water to salt water, they go through changes to become smolts. Smolting occurs in late winter and early spring and readies the smolts for life in the ocean. The Russian River is home to three salmonid species, Chinook, Coho, and Steelhead, listed as threatened or endangered under the Federal Endangered Species Act. Their presence and location in the river vary seasonally. Adult Chinook salmon typically spend one and a half to four years in the ocean before returning to the Russian River, primarily in mid-October through mid-November. Spawning occurs from late November through January, primarily in the main stem of the river above Healdsburg and in large tributaries, including Dry Creek. Juveniles begin hatching in late February. They rear in fresh water for about four months before migrating to the ocean. Adult coho salmon typically spend one and a half years in the ocean. They return to the river from mid-October through February. They spawn in tributaries from Myakama Creek to Willow Creek, but do not spawn or rear in the main stem Russian River. Juveniles begin emerging in early spring. After hatching, coho in the Russian River typically spend a year in fresh water before migrating to the ocean. Adult steelhead typically spend one to three years in the ocean, although some may enter the river from October through April, most enter January through March. They spawn primarily in the tributaries and also in the river upstream of Cloverdale. Juveniles emerge in the spring and rear in the tributaries, in the upper main stem, in Dry Creek, and the estuary. A few hardy steelhead will attempt to rear in the lower river, primarily just below Dry Creek. After approximately two years, steelhead smolts enter the ocean from February through May. Unlike Chinook and Coho, steelhead do not necessarily die after spawning. They can return to the river and spawn multiple times. During the summer, the Russian River downstream of Cloverdale is warm and conditions for juvenile salmon and steelhead are stressful. As a result, juvenile steelhead live mainly upstream of Cloverdale in tributaries and in the estuary. Coho live solely in tributaries. Chinook have left the river for the colder Pacific. A vibrant native warm water fish community, including hardhead, tule perch, suckers, and pike minnow, thrives in the river downstream of Cloverdale to the estuary. Fish are essential to a healthy ecosystem. Some of the native species can compete with or prey on salmon and steelhead, but in turn, they serve as food for birds, mammals, and the rearing juvenile salmonids themselves, who feed on the larval stages of species such as Sacramento suckers. The Russian River has long been home to migrating salmon and steelhead. Protecting the watershed will protect these threatened and endangered species. 
To learn more about protecting the watershed, watch the Russian River Story video, Watershed and Stream Flows. Visit SonomaWater.org. Sonoma Water, clean, reliable, essential, every day.